Well, hide your kids, hide your husbands, hide your wives, because they locking down everybody up in here. I'm Monroe Adams. And I'm Rosie Zinfandel. And, and we, we are, are your, your Quarren, Quarren Queens. Queens. Oh. Uh, yeah. In isolation, your hands are clean. Join us now. We are your Quarren Queens. <coughs> oh my God. Sorry, it's, it's, it's not dry. It's wet. It's wet, I promise. It's wet. Go wash your hands. Okay, well, we're back. Episode two. We are back. Episode two. You are correct. Back, back. I say back. We haven't actually left. I've I've not left the house. I've not left the house in days, weeks. There's nowhere months. to return to. We're just we're here. We're 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 stuck in. Exactly. We're here. We're queer, and uh, we can't even get a pep smear. So I've actually <laughs> I've actually relocated from last time when I was quarantined myself in between in my hallway. I've moved to my bedroom now. Um, Fancy. Just for, some, just, for, just for some home comforts. It was quite hard on the floor, so I thought I'd go and sit down on the bed. Um, you've, you've but how are you? How are you today? Yeah, no, absolutely fine. Um, I mean, we're all prison cells in our own houses and minds. Uh, we have entered lockdown season, but it's not as scary as you think, because nothing has changed. So, it is what it is. It is what it is, what it is. Someone pointed out to me um, the other day, because we are having... I mean, I don't know about everyone else, but here in London, we're having some fucking glorious weather. Oh, um, I know. Where did this summer come from? And we can't, we can't enjoy it because because we're, <laughs> we're all locked up in our houses, um, which is just cruel fate, really. But someone pointed out to me because I've been seeing lots of memes about like, oh, the weather ju- in March during quarantine, glorious sun. The weather in March for the rest of the year. I swear, one March it snowed. Like, it where's did. that weather right now? Oh, I know, honestly. Well, this is, I think this is Mother Nature thanking us for not continually stabbing her in the face. <laughs> this is true. The dolphins come back to, to Venice and, and sun finally makes its way back to the United Kingdom. Precisely, exactly. I mean, th- like, so we're, we're, we're miserable, but think of the, think of the, the planet that's loving it. She's, the she's planet, having a fucking whale of a time. The because, because we're dying. Of course she is. She she just flicks one boogie at someone and said, "Here, COVID nineteen, stop fucking polluting me." Yeah, I've had enough of this. Right, stop it, you naughty little bitch, nasty, horrible bitch girl, nasty uh, little so, girl. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, the government uh, it's just decided. Uh, well, I say it's lockdown. The words lockdown have not been used, but they have said, "Don't leave your house unless it's you know for key work or." Your one shop a day or your one exercise a day. Yeah, exactly. We're not we're not on purge style lockdown. We're not, you know, the shutters aren't rolling down and we aren't we aren't sounding the sirens just yet. Um just but yet. Just yeah, there's yet. there's just there's just a few bobbies on the street saying, Are you okay with what you're doing? All right, move along. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I made the mistake last night of um I was like, Oh, I I needed some food. Mm. I didn't. Well, okay, granted, I'm going to put my hands up and say I didn't need some food, but I didn't have any food to snack. It was either I decided to snack on like my week's worth of veg or I decided to snack on a whole chicken breast and I wasn't quite there yet. Snacks so, are their own um, food group. Exactly, exactly. So I I quickly popped to the 24 hour and was like, oh, it's fine. It's the middle of the night. I'll social distance, you know, keep two meters apart when I'm waiting in the queue. Um, and then behind me was a police officer and I felt really bad because I was just there to buy cocktail sausages and i made me realize i am the problem that's that's fine though like did you did you rub your cocktail sausages in your eyes nose or mouth i i coughed on everything in the store and well threw it at the policeman's face yeah you, no, nobody's perfect so that's fine nobody's perfect exactly nobody's perfect. Hannah, montana, hannah montana said it so it must be true hannah montana foreseer of the covid19 outbreak um sources sources tbc Sauces, ketchup, mustard, and the rest. Um, what have you been up to, Rosé? What have you been up to during during the l- last few hours of lockdown? I mean, I can I can feel it in uh, I can feel it in my waters that I'm slowly starting to unravel. Um, which is I, which is bad to hear because you were already quite unravelled to begin with. Yeah, it's like I almost had to wrap myself back up to then tear myself apart. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a roller coaster of a time. Um, I got is that, is that a Dido lyric? <laughs> I mean, if it's not, it should be. 
If it's not, um, it definitely sounds like it. I got absolutely fucking blind drunk, uh, recorded a video for this uh, compilation that Tuck Shop is going to make. Um, oh, yes. Of, uh, everyone's putting in snippets of them dancing to, uh, lip syncing to Dancing On My Own, isn't it, by Robin? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Um, so I was like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have fun with it. So I got extremely mm-hmm. wine drunk when I was getting ready. Um, mm. And I, I already can't dance. I've a huge case of the Caucasians. Like I just, I can't, I can't move. Oh, um, not only do you have a case of the Caucasians, you also have a arthritis. serious case of of sickle cell anemia. So, I've got, I've got whatever that is. I've got uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and I've also just got a really bad attitude. So you know, I'm and, not going to be able to. She also dance. just has two left feet and a serious case of no rhythm. And I'm white. Like honestly, it's odds are stacked against me. So me also yeah, being. Horrendously day drunk in the sun, dancing around. Um, it's going to be a shit show. Um, well, I've seen it, and um, she sent <laughs> it to me, uh, and I can guarantee and I can confirm to you now, it is an absolute shit show. <laughs> I mean, you you would think that I could have just stopped there, but instead, whilst still on a rager, I decided to uh-huh. also record my own cover of "Dancing on My Own" by Robin. Uh-huh. And I did it in the style of T Pain. I did it in the style of um, dissonant classical music. I did it in the style of uh, dog shite. So it's um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be. I'll, this I'll is, po- this I'll is post the that. version in question that I have heard, and I, I guarantee the, st- the style dog shite um, is a loose term. <laughs> <laughs> Ten or above. Yeah, exactly. Oh Christ! But what have you? How have you? How have you been keeping busy? What have you been up to? What's going on? Um, oh, just you know, just watching my series, watching everything that's going on. Catching what, um, up, catching up, catching up, catching up. She's been a busy girl, and now nothing. So, um, I was gonna say I've been catching up on Drag Race, but I absolutely haven't. <laughs> uh, what episode are you on? Because we're on episode four now. Uh, yeah, haven't watched episode four because I saw who goes, and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, so that was a bit of a, a bit of a turn of events in that episode. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, not, I'm not. Um, are we are we past the grace period when we can talk about it? Oh, you haven't watched it actually, so we're I not. mean I haven't watched it, <laughs> but I, I mean I know what happens. I'm just like, oh, I don't really want know if I want to watch okay. it. Okay, well, I mean, Aiden Zane must have like several nipples or something to show off because the producers are really wanting him to stay on. Well, this is the thing. Everyone's kicking off about Aiden Zane. Um, well, there's two things. One, yeah. Uh, yeah. one he's one is the whole uh, wig debacle. Like, yes, he granted it does wear the same wig a lot but like it's a brand like who cares it and was who... and to be fair it looks good yeah, with exactly what she does like it's fine exactly exactly um yeah who gives a damn like wigs are expensive so who cares if you've got a little pussycat wig that looks right for you it's a brand build your brand babes uh so yeah looking through uh aiden zane's old sorry i just need to clear my throat <coughs> looking through aiden zane's old um drag twitter account which everyone is up in arms about because there's some very choice tweets on there uh, and i've just found a tweet that says just ask for a raise let's hope i get it mommy needs a new wig <laughs> um, so consider that consider that quote tweeted self-aware she self-aware, self-aware. yeah wig, but she's got but... some very some very questionable tweets on there using some very choice language um and everyone is kind of up in arms about it understandably because she was one of the people um before the season even came out, along with Dahlia Sin, who had made comments in the past about um, not allowing uh, trans and AFAB queens on the show. Oh, right. Okay. She was one of those people who was like, it's RuPaul's decision. I don't care. And like was just making a very blase comment about it. Well, that's fine for her, a cis white man. But oh, well, well we, won't, exactly. we won't we won't get into that. We're not that kind of podcast. No, th- we're not that kind of podcast. We're not that kind of podcast. But just something to touch on. Um, yeah. Disney Plus. But yeah, that's something else. Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, I've decided, I've made the executive decision today that currently all that's on there is, well, The Mandalorian, which we've basically all seen, um, mm-hmm. National Geographic and The Simpsons. And I don't really feel like until all the Marvel stuff comes out, I don't really want to have to spend £5 a month just to watch National Geographic. Yeah, I mean, it's come out at a good time, but they need to uh, up their content because there's, there's, from what I've heard, it's minimal. She's lacking. She's lacking. Although they do have um, That's So Raven, the whole box. Oh, so stop. That's who we need. That's, that's, our, that's, that's our fucking hero of today. That's Raven, Raven Simonier is going to save everyone. <laughs> a sickening supply of Raven Simonier. <laughs> I know what that's on. 
period. That's though. on those. That's on those jeans that Raven's dad wore with the rhinestone on the butt. And that's on period. <laughs> and and that's on Raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! Um. But the main thing that's come out from this week, the true savior to everyone in the world, gays, girls, queens, <gasps> everyone Tell involved. Me. Tell me. Mr. Nookie Nookie Nook Nook. Oh, Mr. Tom Nook coming Mr. to bash your kneecaps Nook. and raise the stock market. Let's fucking Tom Nook hear pissed it. on my wife and he dragged me out to a desert island and I'm having a wonderful fucking time with it. Animal Crossing's New Horizon has dropped, everybody. Yay! Pissing on everyone's wives, near and far, Tom Nook has entered our TV screens once. Oh, for the first time. He's only been on handheld consoles before. Oh, no, he hasn't. This That's a fat lie. Rewinding. <laughs> right. Rewind. Rewind. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Tom Nook has <laughs> re-entered our TV screens, and what a, what an apt time. Animal Crossing what New Horizons. Oh, my God, I know. Did you see that tweet that went out, um, like, the day before it dropped? And it was, Tom, it was a picture of Tom Nook on an island waving up at the sky, and it was like, only 24 hours to go. I'm ready and waiting for your desert island getaway package. And I nearly full-on cried, like, horrible, disgusting, ugly tears. It brought me to my newly graphically rendered knees quite frankly oh, it, it was it oh, brought me to life evanescence oh god and that's every, Tom Nook. every time i hear the fucking opening theme it just just it, it makes me forget where i am <laughs> pay your mortgage <laughs> yeah that's the funniest thing that came out of the whole of it is as soon as you, well, I say the funniest thing that came up the whole of it. I'm only three days in. Um, as soon as you arrived, it was like everything's great. Here's your itemized bill. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. I, I I keep forgetting you haven't actually played an Animal Crossing, so you've got you've got a fresh pair of eyes going in. This is it. I've never played Animal Crossing before in my life. Um, I've seen all the memes. Isabel, I know, is a queen. Um, and Tom Nook pissed on my wife. But apart from that, I don't know anything. So Honestly. yeah, I've come into it with new eyes. Um, new hips and a, a new a new pair of teeth and i'm ready i'm ready to chow down honestly chow down at there isn't a restaurant actually never mind uh, chow down <laughs> on some on some delicious oranges that my uh, island is fruit oranges in. apple pears cherries peach um and coconuts i've got coconuts too because i imported them from another island that's on gentrification love honestly we're international our islands are going to be popping um Please reach out to us and get our Switch friend codes if you are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons because we want to we want to yes. we want to hang out. We want to hang out. I'm currently building a park at the moment. Not right this moment. I'm taking a break, but I'm in the process of building a park. I'm having a wonderful time. No, I, I can I can hear it in the background. You're playing it now. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy construction. I'm also building a um, a mountain getaway amongst the pines where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> But that's just for me. Honestly, well, escapism looks different in everyone's lives. And if that's how you want to forget the the crisis going on, <laughs> uh, then so be it. Honey, that's just how I deal with things. And honey, you've got a big storm coming. Honestly, this game is... It's, it's just it's just the fucking lifeblood of surviving. It's, in it's the bee's isolation. knees, it's the owl's neck, and it's the, the dolphin's foreskin. Honestly, it's so great. Like, as someone who'd never played it before, um, thinking, oh, it's just a game for kids. Honey, I'm baby. And I am and I need this. I need Monroe this. is baby. Monroe is baby. And honestly, this game could not have come out at a better time. I saw one theory that was Nintendo started coronavirus so that shares in Switches and Animal Crossing would go up. And I wouldn't believe them. I wouldn't believe them. And I would believe them. And I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Everyone at the moment is like going out and buying switches. Don't know how they're affording it, but if you can, I recommend it. It's a great way of escaping from the real world. I haven't even gone for my one exercise of the day because I don't need to. Um, they they said you can only do one form of exercise a day, and yeah, I I felt like that was a threat. Don't <laughs> don't tell me to do. You'll be lucky if I do one one form of yeah, exercise yeah, a day. Yeah, that, Right. I was like, are they telling us we have to exercise or is it are they saying you can only leave the house if you exercise? Because yeah, Bojo jokes can on you. Suck it. I'm not leaving the house. 
Yeah, exactly. If, honestly, they should just arrest me if I'm even in the house. I don't want to. I don't want to be anywhere. Like, right? I'm so glad the internet's kept the kept the humor going. Um, we've got nothing else. No, exactly. We've got nothing left. <laughs> Ian Bill, everyone, friend of the podcast. Ian Bill, big um, old friend of the pod. Um, yeah. So, I think with that in mind, uh, while we wrap up our, our segment on Animal Crossing, um, should we go into our song of the day? Yeah, um, can we quickly, actually, can we quickly loop with a, like, a seal of approval of, on Animal Crossing, and then you can... Oh, yeah. Right. Um, so, uh, back on task, Animal Crossing has got the, uh, Richard and Judy seal of approval, it's got the, the Oprah Dick and Dom of Drags approval, book club approval, it's, and it's got the Quarren Queens approval, uh, so if you can, um, do them best, because it is a... It's an it's almost a necessary coping me- mechanism uh, each day honestly, for me. Honestly, so. it really is. So yeah, Animal Don't Crossing Don't take New ibuprofen, Horizons. play Animal Crossing. Big tick. Big old fucking tick in our books. Which takes us into our song of the day. Oh yes, we have a fucking doozy for you today. What an absolute treat. All the way from the land of Animal Crossing. Rosie, maybe you should... You should introduce him because I don't really know much about this character. That's absolutely fine. Yes, we have in the studio very special guest all the way from the world of Animal Crossing. Please welcome KK Slider with Thank You Next. Thank you. neighbors that are definitely in are very very angry <laughs> oh i don't give a fuck last night there was a screaming child upstairs screaming bloody murder for about half an hour and i just sat there and thought this is it this is that this is how i go honestly I, w- I wouldn't have been surprised if you launched into purge rules and just you know and just sh- booted the game. child out the window fair game fair fucking game and honestly i i almost did i almost did well if you but throw yes. out the window that fucking child he's already been for a run so the police are gonna have him <laughs> He's got in his fresh air. He's happy to go. <laughs> you can't say he didn't get any exercise. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> right. So now uh, we move swiftly um, and sexily on to our next segment, which is uh, sexy? question and answers. Did yeah, you say I did. I you said we're going to move sexy? swiftly and sexily on. <laughs> oh, God. Um, please look after your mental health. Um, this is a PSA. I, do not, do not I end up like us. <laughs> yeah, please. This is this show is currently the only thing holding us together right now. Um, and as you can tell, it's not doing a good job of it. It's, um, it's doing that so, tearing us apart. Yeah. Yeah. We. Um, I took to. Um, we took to the skies. We took to the internet, and we asked uh, some of you people, uh, the of who friends of the pod, um, listeners of the pod, uh, for questions that we would answer. Two pe- we asked two people. We asked you people. You people. You people. Just say faggots and go. Uh, can we say that? No. Can we? Mm. Yeah. Our pod, our rules. Uh, okay. So um, our first question um, comes from a um, friend of the pod uh, and uh, old bartender at uh, CMYK in Wimbledon. Uh Connor Shields. Connor Shields. Connor Hello. Shields. Welcome to the pod. Welcome to the pod. Um, hope your Avon business is going swimmingly. Um, 
during all of this. So his question is, what's your favorite home exercise device? Mine's a spritz stick. Firstly, uh, all I have to say is, what the hell's a spritz stick? Uh, what the fuck's a spritz stick? What the fuck's a spritz stick? Um, my home ex my favorite home exercise device, um, uh, it's the it's the hallway between my room and the fridge. It's not really a device. It's not really a device, but it's there. Great minds, because I was just thinking the side of my bed as I get up every morning. Yeah. Um, li li listen, Connor, we're not we're not we're not exercising. Let's be real. We're not. I mean, I, yeah. I've danced in my garden, but I was also drunk, so I'm not sure if that balances out. If you can call it dance. I was I, mean, I was it, literally flailing around in my garden. Um, that's dance for Rosé. It's interpretive, and I interpreted it as bad. But this is it. We're not. We're not physical queens. Um, we're not comedy queens. We're not. We're, we're not, not look we're, queens. Yeah, we're just kind of. <laughs> we're not drag um, queens. We're not. <laughs> we we're crackheads. We <laughs> we we really do be like that. So we, yeah, yeah, we're not physical. We're not really high into fitness um, and physical activity. Rose is um, is obviously uh, disabled, and I am just lazy. But yeah, exactly. We've um, got we've got excuses out the wazoo. So you know, come come round to us, and we'll give you we'll give you all the excuses you need. Exactly. But don't you dare tag us in that fucking Instagram press up challenge because we're not doing it. Literally, and I won't be period. able to get up. I'd... You will be dealt with, period, period. You will be dealt with, period, period. So thank you, Connor, for that lovely question. Thanks, um, Connor. Thank you. Um, our next question comes from Maddie. Maddie says, what's your favorite TikTok audio? Rose, as um, a queen of TikTok, uh, would you like to take this one first? Yes, um, I ironically slash unironically slash who's kidding? Um, I am, you know, I'm I'm a TikTok legend. I've got three hundred thousand views on my TikTok, so I have to say, uh, my own Whoopie audio. Doopie doo, good for you. It means absolutely nothing, but it means something to me. Um, <laughs> That's it. Um, oh, my favorite audio. I mean, Oops was a good one. The Doris Day song Oops. Um, well, it sparked one of your oops. one of your best performances today. It ended up being, it inspired my uh, Valentine's uh, mix. So I have to say That's anything it. with oops, because they've, the, the kids on TikTok, they really did milk that meme dry. Honestly, that, yeah, fully. that trend, that trend was fully, fully realized. Uh, so I'd, I'd have to say that one. What okay. about you? My, um, see, I'm not much of like into the audio side of TikTok, like the whole lip syncing side of it. I, I just am there for like the crackhead vine energy ones. And my yeah. current favorite one is the one of the girl when she's like, you heard of Elf on the Shelf? Well, get ready for it. Wait a minute. Did I just say Elf on a Shelf? I meant to say Rap God. Like that is currently. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. She's full on breakdown. That's my current favorite um, at the moment. But yeah, I have to, I have to agree with you on that one. I think I think the Vine Energy ones are... They're just much, great. They're just they're, they're much better than the actual content because, you know... Yeah, exactly. Stupid bitches, get far. Straight people lip syncing for clout. Me. Very me. Very you. Um, and our final question on the, the Instagram questions is, is Chanel pretty? No. no. Right, thank you so much for mailing in. Thank you so much for those. Um, I believe we have some... Um, we have some phone-in questions as well from some sisters. Yeah, of so whilst you've been handling the postal service of the studio, we, <laughs> I, I have been taking some uh, audios. I, I think we've got some callers ready. She's been taking um, names and she's been taking numbers. I've been taking digits and I've got, I've got, I've got two callers on the line actually. So let's, Ooh, um, let's hear line. from, let's hear from person number one. Okay, are you okay. there? Hey bitches, it's Coco. I have one question and that is. What vine would you say perfectly sums up your experiences in self-isolation? Oh, cuckoo! Hello, oh, Coco! Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Hello! Cuckoo. Oh, How are firstly, you, Coco? Bitches! Thank you for calling in. How rude. Oh, she hung up. Oh, okay, never mind. She wasn't, she wasn't up for talking. Um, so, very rude. Um, oh, what, what vine does describe your isolation very well? Have you got any ideas? Uh, uh, mine, yeah, absolutely, top of my head. It's the one of the girl who gets the water poured on her and she's like, well, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, what would yours be? I'd have to say, well, I've got a few spring to mind. Um, I mean, when I'm in isolation, stuck watching the news um, and seeing all the all the different stats and 
figures of who's 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 kicked it and who's getting ill. Um, the one that springs to mind is the uh, Nickelback. Look at this <laughs> graph. I that that is that. 10 out of 10 for that one. That's a great reference. Thank you so um, much for that. Although, personally, that's just that's just watching the news, though. My whole experience has been staring in the mirror and going in and out of some kind of dysmorphic state of saying, oh, you're looking really good today. And I'm like, who is that fucking gremlin in the mirror? But on my good days, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm thinking, we in this bitch, finna get crunk, <laughs> eyebrows on fleek, the fuck? The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one, yeah. that vine I'm is... I'm with you on um, that one. It's very much. It's solid. The isolation it's solid experience. in these days. Um, great question. Thank you so much, Coco. Even though Thank you did you hang so up much, on Coco. Us. Thank you for calling in. Um, yeah, obviously uh, ran out of minutes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She's on gift gaff pay as you go. Yep. Because she broke. <laughs> 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 um, oh, uh, so we still got caller number two. Um, let me see if they're still on the line. Click clap click. Um, caller number two. Are you there? Gluten tag. It is me, Glue the Queen. Hope you're both well and not dead just yet. Memoirs of a gay shah, Jujubee story. I'm still here, unfortunately. We are Jujubee and we are still alive. Thank you. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Sweet. Um, I would just like to know if you think cereal is a soup. If you do, why? And if you don't, why? Um, obviously, you don't have to answer because I'm not your boss. But I just thought I'd ask and put it out there. So... Don't bite my head off. Um, marzipan and kisser calls. Be safe. Hugs, kisses, and corona free wishes. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you so much for that uh, insightful question, Glue. Uh, lovely to hear from you. Sticky, sticky question. A very icky, sticky question with a very icky, sticky answer. Uh, see, this is not something I've ever had to think about. Um, and I'm annoyed that I have to now think about it because it's put me in quite a dilemma. Um, yeah, it, damp- it dampens the mind. It does dampen the mind. It dampens the spirits, but it doesn't dampen it with soup. So let's see how this goes. Um, my train of thought is, you know, you can have gazpacho, which is obviously a cold soup. So mm. soups can be cold. So in theory, it's kind of a soup, but it's just kind of like a single base with bits in it. So I would l- go more along the lines of it's kind of like a chowder. Okay. Okay, you know, okay, like, that's 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 fair. Because they're normally logic. they're normally like a some sort of single kind of broth, with like croutons and things. But is it a broth or a chowder? You're saying chowder. Oh, so no, like no, because it's a chowder because it's got like the bits in it. Whereas a broth is normally like the liquid that encompasses a chowder. Ah, okay. See, this is where we're going to we're gonna we're gonna part ways with agreeing. Oh, okay. Because okay. I. I would say it's a broth because a broth is a liquid which extra- extracts flavor from an object. So say if you've got a bowl of cocoa puffs, puffs. <laughs> <laughs> so say if you've got a bowl. Of- <laughs> so say if you've got a bowl of cocoa puffs, um, the milk yeah. is the 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 broth base, as as you would yeah. with like bone broth. It then extracts what's going on and becomes a whole a whole meal. I see that. I see that. So I that's where, where I'm coming from. I see that. See, the definition of a chowder is a type of soup or stew often prepared with milk or cream and thickened with broken crackers, crushed shit biscuit or a roux. But as an ingredient or as the base, I I think I think you're you're out of your depth, Miss Thing. To be, I'm 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 up to my neck in soup. Milk. And it's not even nice. <laughs> and it's, it's not, not even, even cereal. And it's not even cereal. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think, to be honest, we're both just barking up a tree that doesn't need to be barked up, and we're talking about two things that are cut from the same cloth. Um, and if I think of another metaphor, I'll put cut it in Cut from there. the same broth. Cu- um, hey! Um, <sighs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, uh, I mean, it's cereal. It's cereal. Cereal, cereal. But if, we, if we're going to go down the argument of whether it's soup or not, I mean, it's cereal. Cereal is cereal. Is a Jaffa cereal cake a cake or a biscuit? Answer carefully. That's uh, our question for. That's our question for you guys uh, at, <laughs> at home. Answer, um, PO box, Quarren Queens at London. Thank you. Period. Um, that period, was that period. was actually from you, Monroe. That was actually a very wise decision because I feel like you were gonna, you were gonna say the dreaded "it's a biscuit," but we'll get into that next time. Oh, what Jaffa cakes? No, 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 no! I fully believe it's a cake. 
Oh, amazing. Okay, we're still all friends here on the pod, folks. Still oh, friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, let's just let's just sort this out. So, uh, in my mind, it's because a biscuit goes soggy. Like, it goes soft when it goes off, and a cake goes hard, and Jaffa cakes go hard. Exactly. And a biscuit hardens and condenses when it's baked, and a cake rises. A Jaffa yeah. cake rises. And I, I that is that is my sponge. hill to die on. I will fight it's a sponge. anyone who disagrees. It's a sponge. Yeah. Exactly. It's a sponge. Honestly. It's a people... sponge. <sighs> it's a people... game. Everyone's having a bit of fun. Um, yeah, no, fully <laughs> a cake. Fully a cake. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much, Glue, for your question. Uh, stay thank safe. You so stay much, glue. sticky. Um, we love stay you, girl. Stay safe. Stay um, sticky. We love you. Kisses and wishes. Mwahs. Stupid yeah. So. Goose. Um. Uh, so I've got just uh, General Guff. Um, and General then Guff. General Guff. Um, uh, well, I think that I think that's all we've got time for um, this week. Yeah, I mean, this week. We've, this week. We've had some... <laughs> we do these well, intermittently, like every kind of third day. So, I mean, it's it's still the same week. So it's still the same week. <laughs> that's all we've got time for today. <laughs> This time, yeah. Um, so we've had some fabulous questions. We've covered what's going on recently, um, and I personally would just like to reiterate that it's it's gonna it's gonna be okay, everyone. Um, we're yeah, here we're, for you. We're probably gonna be all right. Yeah, I mean, there's always the sense of impending doom, but if you if you think like us, then that's nothing different to now. Yeah. So exactly you know, it's always there so it doesn't really matter just ride it honestly life's too short just fucking get outside fucking barefoot ride that wave, baby dunk your head in the sand uh where can people find you if not in bed you can find me on instagram and facebook at rose zinfandel instagram handle is rose accented because there ain't no accents on the e's over there where can Period. we find you Monro? uh you can find me uh on facebook uh I think it's facebook.com forward slash Miss Monroe Adams. Again, Instagram, Miss Monroe Adams. Um, I have to check my Twitter now. I can't remember. I think it is Miss Monroe Adams. I think it is Miss Monroe Adams. Yeah, my Twitter is Miss Monroe Adams. Uh, Or you can follow me on TikTok at Monroe Adams Queen. Oh, yes, I'm I'm also on the TikTok. Go and find my infamous. Yeah, exactly. Follow us on the TikToks like all the cool kids do. Wow. Wow. Um, So what are you going to do for the rest of your day? Um, I'm gonna go uh, plant some trees. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go build some sustainable houses. Um, for some less fortunate. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, I am. Co- I am talking about Animal Crossing. Oh, I see. And the less fortunate being you. Yes. yes. Yeah. Perfect. What are you doing today, Rosie? I'm gonna live, laugh, love until I can't love no more. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wait, I want to do a better <laughs> one. Mine was shit. <laughs> no backtracking now, bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bye. No, I'm joking. Um, we can if we want. It's our, um, it's our show. We can laugh if we want to. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing thinking about yours now. Um, so, Momro, what are you going to do with your day? I'm going to shave off and then bleach my hair because I'm a gay in a crisis. Well, stay safe, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another ridiculous episode of nonsense, buffoonery, and uh, crackhead energy. I've been Monroe Adams. Thank you so much. I've been Rose Zinfandel. And we have been your Quarren Queens. Queens. Oh!